What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Basingstoke. Which I guess is like a little town around London somewhere. But anyways, this is a post-apocalyptic survival crafting game that I'm sure you guys are going to like to check out. So, without further ado, let's go blast some zombies, huh? So we can randomize our avatar. No, I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't want to randomize my avatar. I want, no, I wanted to customize my avatar. I wanted to make myself the avatar of me. Oh no, things have fallen apart and now I am simply Doreen. Okay, so welcome to Omnicorp. Okay, hey, what's going on? Please take a visitor pass. Alright, so I've got a visitor pass now. Babada to you too. Babada to you as well. Take the lift to the third floor. Alright, so I've got my visitor's pass. I'm holding it in my hand like a small child. And we will go up to the next floor. So we need to go to lifts. This way. Elevators. Are they this way or are they this way? They're that way right there. Okay, let's do it. You guys have bunnies in your indoor garden? Dude, this is a pretty luxurious place to work. They've actually transplanted bunnies. That lift is out of order. I'm not out of order. You're out of order. Why is it so dark inside here? Oh, I thought there was another person. That's like a mirror. Okay, I thought... Oh, it's the minus nine floor. I don't think that's where I wanted to go. I'm pretty sure we're in a place called Omni Labs in a level we're not supposed to go to. What's funny is a buddy of mine worked for a company called Genentech. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. There's a bunch of guys with hazmat suits. You shouldn't be in here. Yeah, I figured as much, man. I don't even want to be in here. It was an accident. I don't want to be. It's just things happened. Am I about to get superpowers? Impressive, isn't it? See, this guy is much more enthused. He just wants to show his work off to somebody. He's like, yo. Look at this thing that I designed. It's so awesome. You're not allowed to see it, but because I'm vain, I really, really want you to see it. You need to see this right now to satisfy my vanity. Let's see. What is this right here? There's like a construction closet. What is this over here? There's like a bathroom. Just, uh-oh. I don't think this is good. Yeah, this is definitely not good. I don't think that the color spectrum is supposed to be changing like this to the visual eyeball. Also, why do my eyes glow like a demon? That's the other part that concerns me here. Like, I've got, oh my god, the toilet's exploded. You guys literally set water on fire. Oh shit, son. Can I get out of here? I don't want to be inside. I don't want to be exploded in a bathroom, dude. I don't want to be that dead body in a, in a Resident Evil game that's just slumped over on the toilet with a shotgun leaned up to the side. And that's like the location where you get the shotgun from. Oh, the door's back open. Oh, that's not good. Yo, they got skeletonized. They got turned into skellies. But yeah, my buddy worked for, this is Omnicorp, but my buddy worked for a, like a, it's like a phase one or phase two, I forget what it is, a disease research place called Genentech. And essentially, oh my God, everybody got took out down in here. And he said there was a secret floor at Genentech that like nobody had the security clearance to get to, but like employees knew about it through just the grapevine. Essentially, if you went, he said if you went to the elevators, there's a key, and you put the key in, and you turn, and only, like, one, like, CFO or something like that has the key, and then you also have, like, a slide card that the, the individual employee has, but in order to get down there, you have to be escorted, like, somebody from the security team has the key, and apparently that's down where they keep, like, all the Ebola and stuff like that that they do, like, crazy research on. Emergency lighting? Oh, cool, so we can hit the space bar to turn our flashlight on and off. I will definitely take one of these, then. So there it is. I've got a flashlight. I don't know how long it lasts. Oh, I like the lighting effects, though. The lighting effects are really cool. Does that door open? Oop, I turned that guy's body around. Take that, forensics. You'll never know what happened to him now. Around this way. I think this might be where we came from. Yeah. It looks like I've got, like, a little radius around myself. I'm kind of wondering if that's my sound radius, maybe, for sneaking. Is there, like, a hole? In the oh, there is. There's a hole in the wall right here. I don't like that glorp noise that just happened. Something is glorping in the blackness. That's so much worse than drums in the deep. Yeah, the corridor is exploding. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Oh, there's a door right there to the destroy corridor. Help me! We must evacuate! Oh, nope, never mind. You ain't evacuating nowhere. Whoa! That dude got jibbed up. That dude had a terrible day. Ah! Oh, I thought that was lasers being shot at me. I was like, who's firing lasers at me right now? This just got so much worse. I thought it was just zombies, but no. It's zombies with lasers. What are those things in here? I don't know. Go tank them. Go... A sausage roll? 
What's a sausage roll? I can throw it. It's irresistible to enemies. It's reusable and part of one crafting recipe. Okay, we've got a new enemy, the Prowler. It will kill you in one hit. It's slow moving and weak. It often hunts in packs. It's weaker from behind and sometimes it has loot. Well, I picked up a sausage roll, but where's the thing that's trying to kill me? They said that there was a monster around here, but I don't see it. Ooh, we got more sausage rolls. Goody. So he's right there. Let's say that I throw the sausage roll over to that side. Oh, cool. He likes sausage. Good for him. I'm really, really happy with the way that he likes to eat sausage, man. I love sausage, too. Why are sausage rolls so popular in here? Seems odd to me that every single employee has a sausage roll. Oh, there's glass right there. That's not good. Okay, so I think we're going to have to cut through here. I'm going to sneak around this way. You guys don't get eaten. Don't get eaten. I just said don't get eaten. I just told you not to get eaten. See, now I had to waste one of my sausage rolls, and my lunch is ruined. I was going to have a good lunch, and now I'm going to have a bad lunch. You get in here. Get in here, hazmat man. Is this like depend? Ah! Oh, my God. There's one of them right there. Uh, let's just run for it. Oh, Christ. I don't think they made it. I don't think they made it. Oh, there's a zombie right there, too. Okay. Uh, I can't see very well. Where's my flashlight? Do you want to tag along? I Not really. I feel like having more people makes us a little bit less inconspicuous. The exit is this way? All right, well, we're going to go this way, then. I'm going to hold my sausage roll, which I have been known to do. It's gotten me kicked out of several clubs. We got a door unlock code. And then is there anything else over here? There's another dead guy. Does he have anything useful? It says the exit is this way, so let's stay on it, I guess. God, I've got a good feeling... Oh, no. Yo, my kidneys fell out. He bit me so hard, my kid... Oh, my God. They're just... And I like how my eyeballs are still blinking down there. God. And it's got to give me the replay, too, to show me all the directions I got worked from, GoldenEye style. All right. Welcome to Omnicorp. We're back in for the job interview. There's the door unlock code. I'm going to toggle my torch back on. I don't think I have any sausages, though unfortunately so let's head back to where we were something tells me that I didn't even make it through the tutorial I just bungled it I bungled it horribly so it says the exit is this way yeah let's go this way and see if we can find this exit maybe I went the wrong direction that last time exit where are you at There's another dead guy over here but I'm a lot of sausage rolls yeah it's a bunch of zombies maybe I should not go that way although this is a bunch of explosions which in a lot of ways feels worse there's another zombie over there. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. Is this the door? Oh, please let this be the door. I'm trying to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open the door. Oh, there it is. Okay. So maybe we'll be safe now. This is the worst first day of work ever. Like, the worst thing that's ever happened to me on first day of work is that I have to laser line. I don't know if you ever had a laser line before, but that's where you go through the store and you make sure all of the stuff is, like, perfectly in a line along the shelf so it looks all aesthetically pleasing. Well, I guess we've officially entered Basing Stoke now. Alright. So this floor is kind of busted up. Our destination is the Red Lion. Find the key and get to the pub. Okay. Like, am I capable of any kind of combat actions? On one of the previous mobs, it said that if you tag them from behind, they're weak. And so, like, I assume that... At one point or another, I'll be able to fight. That guy has small change, 27 cents. Okay, 27 pence? I don't even know, man. We got another 63 cents right there. Pretty soon we'll have a full pound. We found a component. Uh, a wheelie bin? What does a wheelie bin do? Oh, I can hide inside of it? Oh, that's really rad, dude. I love the way that it changes the perspective. And the game looks just as good when you're, like, down like this than it does all the other ways. How do I get out of Wheelie Bin? Oh, I get out of Wheelie Bin like that. Okay. What do you have? Oh, a small purse. A buck sixty-six right there. Turn off the light. This is probably a great way to get murdered in the dark, but... I wonder what I spend the money on. There's a shopping cart over here. That zombie doesn't really seem to care about my ability to channel photons at his face. There's a Zed over there. We don't have a sausage roll or anything, though. Oh, that dude's on to me. That dude's on to me. He saw through me shenanigans. Does this guy have loot? 
Yeah, I would love to have money. I love games where it lets me just pick up money off dead people. That's probably one of my favorite features in video games is just when I get free loot. 23 right there. We've got 42. And a Red Lion pub key. That's probably going to be helpful because they said we needed to go to the Red Lion pub. So we're going to keep trying to do that. Oh, that dude's still on me, though. That dude's still on me, though. I've got a metal pipe. How do I use that? All right, I'm going to let this dude come around the backside real quick. So, makes you street light, makes you just scenery. How do I get my... A metal pipe. Cannot be used directly. It's totally tubular, bro. Part of 16 crafting recipes. And then there's the wheelie bin and a component. How do I craft? See, now they got me curious. I'm just hiding behind this car right now because there's a zombie over there. And that worries me. That zombie also appears to be aware of us. Can I go through there? Alright, I'm cutting through here because we've lost our hiding spot. There's another dead guy over here who's got a buck 33 on him. Got that extra pound sterling. Dude, this actually, we made more money here than we make on salary. This is not a bad deal if you're trying to get paid. He's got a flare. What does a flare do? Hold that. Makes a bright light, and it is interesting to enemies. Okay, sounds good. I can press R to cancel it. I was wondering about that previously. I will throw the flare if I have to, but if I don't really have to, I'd rather save it for later. All right, so we've got a directional sign. We got some nails out of there, and our map has been updated. We've got a toilet on this side. I assume there's like crafting benches or something around that we can use. Can I hide inside of there? A suitcase. If you take this to the campsite, it will unlock carry slots for a character class. Oh, it gives me more stuff. So I found suitcase. So how do I? Oh. Okay, so I can move stuff around in my inventory with the number keys. Gotcha. I was just playing around with stuff, trying to see if I could get it to work, but. We got dead bodies over on this side. Let's go search them. Let's go search them. We found a sandwich. I don't know what that's useful for, but maybe something. What does a sandwich do? The sandwich. It is irresistible to enemies. Oh, good. That gives me something that I can throw at the enemy. Okay, good. Anything that gets zombies out of the way and makes my life easier is something that I'm a fan of. Uh, let's maybe throw the sandwich over there. Sandwich. You don't want the sandwich? Like, I don't really care if the enemy sees us. As long as I can... Okay, I'm starting to care now. I'm in the market of caring. Like, in the marketplace of ideas, I'm starting to care because there's a few too many of them. We've got a dead police officer over there. Yeah, I would assume that would happen in this kind of situation. Am I on fire right now? I don't know if I can... We got chili sauce. I don't know if chili sauce is helpful either. I don't see the pub anywhere. Uh-oh. God, these guys are everywhere. Where's the pub at? Oh, there's the red lion. There's the red lion. Throw that. It didn't work. Oh, no. Okay, draw back over here. Draw back over here. What does chili sauce do? What is the what does the chili sauce do? Nothing. I don't really care then. Let's go to the trash can and we got a postcard. Visit Sunny Basing Stoke. It's a bunch of dead guys on a postcard. I don't think that's gonna convince anybody to come here. Come on, unlock the door. Unlock the door. Unlock the door and let me into the red lion. Yeah, buddy, we beat level one. Level one completed. You found a new campsite, the Red Lion. Your inventory is permanently added to the campsite stash. Select items from the stash that you want to take with you. So I will take... I mean, can I craft in here? I'll take the circuitry and the pipe, I guess. I don't see why I can't just smack a zombie with a pipe. It seems like it'd make a decent blunt force weapon. That's all I want to do is baff him one time, right upside the head. The game seems to be pretty well put together. I'll be honest with you, everything flows really well. We got loose change over here. A little bit of cash laying around. Yeah, let me grab all this stuff. I'm um, So, like, what happened that converted all these people into zombies? Oh, shnikes. That was a mistake. We found a monster closet. We've got some darts. What are those used for? Hurts weak enemies, does not attract attention, and it's part of one crafting recipe. Like, so let's say that I wanted to use the dart. Are you a weak enemy? I don't know if you're weak or not. Can I pick my dart back up after I throw it? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I took him out. Oh, it puts him to sleep. That wasn't exactly... We got petrol. And I think that's... Oh, it knocks him out. Okay, I guess that makes sense. We got a car battery over here or some kind of battery. An Omnicorp battery. I'm just going to try and get out of the room real fast. I don't want to be trapped over here with a whole bunch of critters if I can help it. And then down this way, we missed a guy. There's one right there. Zutalu. I have missed a pool cue. 
Uh, can I swap somebody with it? I can. Nice. Stuns swarmlets and prowlers. It is weak and it breaks easily. Effective but fragile. Okay, we've got poison, which can be used as a crafting recipe. We've got a water bottle, which is interesting to enemies and also puts out fires. That sounds alright. I'm still kind of interested in how I craft, though. Ah, my crafting menu. Okay, I press Q. So we've got tranquilizer darts. We can put poison on top of them. We've got a scrapbook. We've got the torch. So begin crafting. All we can make is a pipe bomb and trank darts right now. I was hoping I could make some kind of more effective weapon, but I suppose that might be wishing for too much. What's going on in the bathrooms? Anything? No? Alright, so we got some dead guys over here. The problem is that the dead guys look a lot like the ones that are also trying to walk around and eat my brains. We got Ultra Brew? What does Ultra Brew do? Drinkable. Hit harder with your melee attacks. Okay, so it makes me pummel more gooder. Gotcha. I'm going to put that back on the, Q the pool queue right there. We can make explosive brew? What? We can make an explosive beer? Make an explosive beer! High damage on a big area. Makes a loud noise. Dude, we have a beer-based explosive right now. How dope is that? When was the last time you made an explosive out of beer in a video game? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you've never made an explosive out of a beer in a video game. I kind of want to fight this guy, but it also seems like a waste of my resources. This seems like the kind of game where you kind of want to keep your resources close to your chest, just in case when you get further in. We got a police station access code. Is that where I'm trying to go, is to the police station? Something tells me it's not really going to help. Like, anytime these movies pop off like this and everybody's dead and there's zombies everywhere, going to the police station is always like a red herring. They always go to the police station and it never works out. I'm going to bap that dude. There we go. So that just knocks him the hell out. It doesn't actually kill him. It just kind of clubs him and gets him out of the way. I'll take it. Like, whatever works, man. Like, I'm not trying to be greedy here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of you guys over here. I've got a feel for pummeling, though. I'm riding through this guy on a tiger. Oh, shit. What is that? What in the hell have you guys done? Has science gone too far? I think yes is the answer. There's a vending machine? How do I use a vending machine? Sounds an alarm. If you smash it, may have loot. The crowbar will open it silently. The game pauses. Damage it to steal a random item. Okay. We can get a battery. We can get a metal pipe. We can get components. Why are they selling poison out of a vending machine? We can get a hammer? Oh, it's 30 bucks, though, and I don't have 30 bucks. Let's get another metal pipe, I guess. Oh, it's sold out? No, oh, it shouldn't be. There we go. Space bar does it. We got batteries over there. That's cool. I think that works. What can I craft right now? Can I craft anything good? I can make trank darts, and that's it. All right. Well, never mind then. Let's do our best to stay. We've got sticky tape right there. Let's do our best to stay the hell out of the way. Visit Sunny Basing Stoke. Everyone is dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Super dead. Oh, it's a broken pool cue now. Okay. I wonder if its effective range goes down once it's been snapped. I mean, either way, we don't really have that many enemies looking for us right now anyways. We managed to make it through that precarious hallway where there was just, like, way too many of them. Uh, what's over on this left-hand side? Let's go have a look. There's a dead guy. I will take your 25 cents. I would love 25 cents. Can I still bap them? No, I can't. Now that it's broken, it looks like it doesn't work quite as effectively. Okay. Well, we will keep that option for later. I want to use this explosive beer on somebody. Like, super bad. That looks like an opportunity. Oh, that was so awesome. That explosion effect was what was up. What did we get over here? Another ultra brew? Dude, make another explosive. So we can make an ultra hot kebab. We've got a poisoned kebab. A spicy kebab. We can make a coffee. We can make a telescope, and we've got trank darts. Do I want a bottle of poison? I probably do, right? A glass bottle of nasty toxins. Poison makes enemies sick. We also found a lighter with plenty of gas. Can be used directly. Okay. We got a kebab, which can be thrown, and it's irresistible to enemies. We've also got sticky tape over here. 
which is not quite as irresistible to enemies, but if they touch it, they will get slightly stuck. So just something to think about. Ten nails from the worker over here. We've got a builder on this side, too, who's got 15 cents. I don't think he's going to need it anymore. I'm pretty sure he's not going to need it anymore. We've got sticky tape over here. A shovel. Ooh. Something tells me the shovel is probably pretty good for whapping fools. Is that what it is? Can I make anything out of it? Can I make like a bladed shovel or anything? What does a coffee do? Let's see here. It makes me move faster for a little while. That's probably a good thing to have as well, just in case stuff goes off the... Oh, we've got enemies over here. Um, I think I can juke in through there. Oh. I was going to say, the shovel takes a little bit longer to swing than the pool cue, which is what I'm used to. There's nothing back in over there. Oh, we got a skeef by. We got a skeef him. We got a skeef him. We got an egg timer over here. If I know anything, that's probably used for explosives. We got a dead guy at a desk. Oh, please tell me I can get through. Hey, we've got another suitcase that'll let us carry more items. Okay. Sounds good. Is there anything on this side? Oh, there's a back door so that you can juke them over there. Oh. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to keep... Oh, my God. There's so many of them. I instantaneously regret using my explosives. Is there anything over here? I don't see anything. I think we lost him. I'm pretty sure we made it. Although those ones appear to be onto us. They're not quite as dumb as their compatriots. Okay. Uh, most of the paths are taken right now. I'm going to have to juke around. Hopefully we can go along that right side. Yeah, we could. Oh, there's a tentacle. Nope. What are you? I don't know what that is, but I smacked it with a hammer. I smacked it with a shovel. There's a body over there, but I don't know if I'm that brave. We've got a flare. Are we ever going to get, like, a gun or anything? Like, none of the police cars have guns in them. Hmm. I wonder if I can just, like, lose them over here. Like, get them all tangled up in the bushes. Then we say, go time! I'm going to bat that thing with a shovel. Grab the loot. We found a police truncheon, which is probably good. I'm pretty sure my shovel just broke. Instant coffee. A little bit of loot. It looks like we've got cell ammo. So maybe we get some kind of laser cannon later on. I don't know. Oh, there's fire over here. I don't think I want to be on fire. I could use a water bottle to put that out. But given the amount of enemies that are around and trying to murder me right now, I think it may not be the best idea. So there's the Basingstoke police station right there. If we can get inside, I think it's a win for us. However, there are a lot of Zeds over here. Oh, it's a loop around. Okay. Uh, give me... I don't know. A sausage roll sounds good. If we, can get the, if we can get the sausage roll, that sounds pretty amazing. Just depends if I can put it close enough. I just got to shave off a couple of these guys. I'm running through the sky like a tiger. Am I in? Is this it? Are we good? We found a water bottle on the dead guy, and then, yeah, buddy, we made it. Uh, this game is called Basing Stoke. If you wanted to get it for yourself, it's kind of a stealth zombie action crafting game. I think it's pretty fun, and I think the production values are pretty good. The game is a little bit expensive and clocks in at about $30, which is on the high end of the spectrum. It's a little bit more expensive than expected, so keep an eye on that. Don't just click Add to Cart if that's not something that you're ready for. But aside from that, it's pretty much my only complaint. I really like the way that the game is assembled and the way that it plays. Like, it's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable little arcade stealth crafting game. And so anyways, if you want to get it for yourself, I got a link for you down below. My name is Splattercat. I play indie games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so that you don't have to. But more than that, I don't really have much more for you here today. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It's the best way to support me. And I will see you all next time. Hi do, everybody.